Hi, I am Megan Conrad, and I was so, so touched to uh, speak for, speak on behalf of Camp Interlochen. So I wanted to include everybody because I really feel like this just captures so much about camp. Um, I went to Camp Interlochen for 14 summers. So I was a camper for nine years, and then an Ozo for one, which was an unbelievable year, and then a counselor for four. So, um, since we're I just brought up Ozos, I, I need to show you a picture. So this is when I was a counselor in training, and these are, uh, this picture just says it all. So these are my Ozos, this is our Ozo year, and I just think that says so much. And, uh, and I'm still so close with all these people, and this is us at a camp reunion. So that was, this one was 1991, okay? This one is 2001 at a, one of the camp reunions. We tried to reenact that. I can't see if I'm even getting in there. And then this one, we did a girls trip. So we decided that every few years, the girls, my Ozo girls, we would take an Ozo trip. So this is our first trip that we took together. This is in 2014. Some of my favorite things are even the physical associations. And if you talk to anybody that knows camp, they will feel the same. Just walking on the gravel, hearing that crunch. It is just, I, it's like music. And even the crazy coils when you open up the, the cabin door, I love that sound. It has such a distinct sound and it is only the sound that I know from camp and it, I just love it. I feel like bringing people into your world and really sharing a personal story is what camp is about. It makes you care and feel connected. Um, and we even brought, they brought in Holocaust survivors, which is pretty special because reading it and hearing it seeing these powerful people is something that you just don't forget. The sense of pride that camp has and that gives you the confidence after going to family camp, was it our second summer? We were saying goodbye and Ellis, he said, I'll see you next summer. And I knew he meant by himself. And I was so proud of him that he felt at home there and that he could do something like he's never done before on his own. That was a real sense of pride within himself, with me and London. We went uh, out to dinner and we came back to family camp and she got up on stage and performed an impromptu dance in front of all of these people that she just met because she felt so at home. And camp does something to you. It gives you a sense of safety and courage and playfulness. And if you fall flat on your face, you got everybody there going, ah, whatever, it's great. It's it's just, I can't explain it. It's, it's uh, a safe place to stretch and grow. And what, what do you feel like? Yeah. Well, I'm I'm really excited because this is my first time going to a camp. Uh, and I just, every time I go to family camp, I just feel really at home there. I'm just, I really miss like having the feeling of being on my own and having a lot of responsibilities. It's such an important part of her life that from the time we met, I knew all about uh, Camp Interlock and I'd never heard of it before meeting Megan, but I knew all about it very soon. And uh, fast forward a few years later, I would say at least half, at least half of our wedding party was made up of camp folks. It was <laughs> awesome. It was fantastic. It's a beautiful, beautiful place.